Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 120 in the Sudoku problem series. This is quite a hard one according to feedback, and I agree. Um, this is one I created, and it's a lockout line problem. So the goal on this one is to place the digits in the cells marked with X's, which is basically all of the digits along the lines. Um, there is a link below where you can get a copy of this grid so you can try it for yourself. Um, and um, the way lockout lines work, and this is a constraint that some people seem to struggle with, is the digits on the diamonds at the end of a line must be differ by four or more, and then digits on the lines must fall outside the range of those defined digits. So um, the, that basically means that whatever these two digits are, um, the ones that are, are on the line cannot be the same or between those digits. Um, and a diamond terminates a line segment. So for example, um, this is a line to there, and this is a line to there. This is not one continuous line. So the diamond terminates the line segments. Um, um, so that's the way lockout lines work. Um, feel free to give this one a try. I'm gonna wait for a few seconds. Um, so you can pause the video, and then when you're done, um, I you can unpause the video, and I will be back to explain how this one works. Or more accurately, um, I will try and explain how this one works because while I created this one and I know what it is, I've tried a couple of times to explain it and it's a little tricky. So one of the important concepts of lockout lines is because digits have to be outside the bound of the line um, you and the diamonds must differ by four or more, you have a lot of pressure that is caused by that particularly with this cell and the fact that those two see each other. Now, the reason this becomes an issue is because of these cells in box five, because um, these cells here also all see each other. So the, this is kind of forced those things to, I know I just said these are two different line segments, but they're kind of the same because whatever this is, all of these have to be outside the bound with those digits. And these all need to be four apart from that digit. So if I was to pick um, examples of what can this digit be, and it, I mean, I can case this and it is kind of the easiest way to demonstrate this. So I'm actually going to do it by casing. I can do it by logic. Um, so basically the logic, st the logic states, sorry about tapping the microphone, is that because all of these need to be outside the bounds and these see each other, one of these needs to be exactly four away. But that's hard to see. Um, but the reason it is, is because if it wasn't exactly four away from this digit, then these would not be able to, then these would not see each other correctly. But it's really hard to see, and it'll be easier to see if I give an example. So these can be one, two, can't be three, they could be four, can't be five, six, or nine. So these are the only options. Now, four and six are obvious problems because four and six, the only digits that are um, four away from four is eight and nine. And I can't put eight and nine in there. So that's a problem. The only digits that are four away from six, because I can't go up, I have to go down, are one and two. But if I put one and two in here um, as the options, the things that are locked out of the one from six is seven, eight, nine. So I'd have to put seven, nine, but the thing that's locked out from the two is one, seven, eight, nine, and all that I've got left is one. So that doesn't work. Um, so you end up getting these sorts of weird pressures. And this is where I'm getting the fact that these see each other. I start running out of digits in box five. Two has a similar problem. Um, with two here, again, um, if I put two, sorry, if I put two here, five away from two, uh, four away from two, I've got six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if I do two, six, which is the closest I can keep it, if I do two, nine, the only thing I can put on either any of these is one. So that doesn't work. With seven, the only thing I can put on this is, um, is one, eight, and nine. But because of the eight, I've only got one and nine available for four cells. That doesn't work. And this is where I mean, I, I'm running out of options because they all see each other. And because these two see each other, I've got the same restriction on these cells. So it just doesn't work. Um, and, with, um, and with six, 
I've I've got the four digits I need because it's exactly four apart. And this is getting back to the, the case I was talking about before. One of them has to be exactly four apart. With the six in one of them, then the four digits I've got to play with outside the bound of the two, that's if six is one of these digits. Um, but the four digits I've got to play with to put on these four cells, if one of these is six, and the other one, remember, has to be higher, um, is the um, the only digits I've got are one, seven, eight, and nine, but the eight isn't available. So I can't use two. And I run into a similar problem if I use a one. If I use a one, then these, one of these has to be five. And that's the, again, the four away problem, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I use one nine, nothing can go on them. If I use one seven, I've only got eight and nine. I can't put eight and nine into all of those. Um, and like, this is, um, even if I do one five, so one of these is a five and the other one is from six, seven or nine. So, um, but if I use the five, the digits that I have to put on here are six, seven, eight, nine, and this eight kills all of it. Um, I can't use a high digit. So this is forced to be a nine by the nature of the four digits that have to go in here ha can't include the eight once these are put in. This is really tricky and I get that. This is going to be one that I think a lot of people stumble on. But the entire point is the fact that because these see each other and these all see each other, you have to have one of these that is exactly four apart. So now that logic comes into play again. What can go into these four cells? Well, these have to be four apart or more. So they're all from one, two, three, four, five. This can't be a one, a two, or a two or a three. This one can't be a four or a five. But what can go in here now? Well, the, sorry, four apart. I've done that backwards. No, I did that right. See, this one is absolutely tricky to me. So, the thing is, I need to lock out digits from this. If this is 9-1, I've locked out absolutely nothing because there, um, if, whichever one of these is a 1, I can't put any lines on. So I can't put 1 in any of them. 9-2, I could only put 1 on this line. That doesn't work. This has to be a 3. And 3 locks out 1 and 2. And that becomes forced because I can't put four and five in that cell. So now here, the minimum I can put here is three and four. So if this is a four, the only thing locked out is one, two, and three, and both of those would have to be three. So this becomes five, this becomes three and four. This four makes this the three and this the four. This two makes this the one and this the two. And that's the solution to the problem. I understand that one is probably going to be tricky to people. But the entire concept of this is these four see each other and these two see each other. So one of these had to be exactly four apart. And the only one that could do that because of this five, this couldn't be one because if this was a low digit, then the eight knocked every high digit. Um, so if this was low, then the eight knocked every high four digit possibility out. So this had to be the nine to force these to be only low digits. And it couldn't be eight or seven, the only other high digit possibilities because of the eight and the seven here. Um, and the where the one that had to be five apart, I couldn't put the five here because it had to be here. And then the rest just is forced from there. I wanted to show this by casing because I think that is going to be the way that most people will understand the way the logic works and the proof will come through to them. Sorry, this is such a tricky one, but lockout lines and putting it into this one, I really liked it when I found it and I wanted to showcase it in a problem. Um, I'm sure there'll be questions and most of that is going to come around by bad explanation. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> it's just, I struggled with explaining the thing that I found. Sorry. Um, hope you enjoyed this one, even despite my bad explanation. Um, hope you found this one interesting, and as always, good luck with your solving.